Welcome back to another episode of Sailing Joko. In this video in Spanish Wells Eleuthera, we haul up anchor, be fancy for a night at a marina, cruise around the island in a sweet golf cart and check out one of the nicest beaches we've seen so far. We receive a call on the radio from one of our subscribers and then we're on the move again having a fabulous day of sailing until we get stuck in a huge current in a sketchy cut. Finally making it to our anchorage where we quite literally get blown in the face. Join us, won't you? Good morning from Spanish Wells. We had a fabulous day yesterday. We're touring around the town, trying to find some parts, a zinc that we need to replace. We don't have a spare. And uh, today we're going to be going into a marina. Spanish Wells Yacht Haven. The cost is about $2.50 US, of course per foot but before we get there of course Jeff is just hanging out with our bags <laughs> and playing a little game of Rocket League you know his favorite. We're a little bit sketched out about the entrance to this uh, channel into the marina it's pretty shallow depths it shows on Navionics but we are at high tide or just after high tide and so I'm gonna get ourselves ready if Jeff ever finishes his game. Never! Never! Rocket League is too important to the captain. <laughs> oh. oh, it sounds like... Leave me alone! He didn't win, so it sounds like we're going! Yeah! I'd be so happy to finally get somewhere to drop off our garbage. We feel like a garbage dump right now. Uh, the wind is coming! So we need to go over there. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. It really helps us out a lot. Also, don't be shy, leave us a comment. We love hearing from you. The wind has really started to pick up and uh, yeah, Jeff was mentioning it's a good thing that we are coming in at high tide because we don't have a lot of water under us right now. I'm gonna go up to the bow and be able to point to Jeff where the deeper water is because it's kind of hairy up here. Before we continue, huge shout out to our amazing patrons. We are so thankful for each one of you. If you're enjoying our content and would like to join the Joko crew, we'll have a link in the description box below. Thank you. We finally made it into the marina, making sure to stay directly in the middle of the channel the whole way. Coming in right behind us was this massive ship, kicking up so much sand from the bottom, it sure made us feel silly about being nervous about bringing our tiny sailboat in here. The first order of business once we got checked in was to rent a sweet golf cart for the day to tour around the island. A stop all cruisers make when they first arrive on shore is of course the grocery store. This was just a recon mission to check out the prices and selection and we'd go back in later to do the actual shopping. The Spanish Wells Food Fair is the biggest on the island and we were pleasantly surprised that it was so well stocked and prices weren't too terrible. We definitely expected worse. It's a good place to provision before heading more south, where prices only increase, so we definitely recommend checking it out. After the storm, we continued on in search of beaches and found this absolutely beautiful one just a couple minutes away. We couldn't wait to get into the water. It felt so good and cooled us down on this hot day. We were in total awe of the beauty all around us. Bahamas really does have the bluest, most gorgeous water. We really hit the jackpot on this one. This is pretty darn epic right here. Like, there is not a bad angle anywhere. It's beautiful. Spanish Wells is a really cool town. We had a great time just simply roaming the land, seeing the sights, and waving to the friendly locals. We hope to be back one day. The next day we were back on anchor at Meek's Patch, AKA Pig Island, and received a call on the radio from one of our YouTube subscribers, SV Phaedrus. He had actually recognized Jeff's voice when Jeff was making a call to our buddy boat on the radio earlier and reached out to us. Yeah. Right on, and are you 
guys headed to the Exumas today. We're just saying good morning to um, a guy on the radio that he follows us on Instagram and YouTube, and he's anchored right in the same area as us. It's pretty cool. So, uh, SV Phaedrus, hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling us. You really made our day. And we are now sailing. We're headed down towards the Glasgow Bridge. It is an absolutely beautiful day for a sail. Right now we are protected by Meek's Patch, and so the uh, wave height here is like none, which is perfect. I love it. We have about so 13. Last, like barely any minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll take it as we get it, so. Between 13 and 15 knots of wind here. We're going around five knots. We have just the head sail out. We're only going about 20 miles today, so we should arrive there around 2.30 in the afternoon. Feels good to be moving again, getting south to where hopefully some better weather is. corner we're going to be heading back up north and the wind is going to be pretty well on our nose. It's a beautiful day. It would be a shame to have to use the motor for the rest of the time up there but we'll see. Yeah my hair is crazy. I'm a sailor girl now. No puking so far too. Yes. As we neared the cut we turned the engine on. Don't do what we did and underestimate the power of this current. If you don't time your transit just right you could get stuck. There's definitely a current going through a current cut. We're, we're making this 3.1 knots here, going 2,000 RPM, just over. Water is just ripping through here. This clip shows just how slow we were going. I think we got down to one knot, but eventually we made it out. For a quick little lunch, we're gonna have some tostados with avocado and tomato on them. We're getting a bit rolly. So, they're going everywhere. <laughs> Just coming into the glass window bridge anchorage up here. That's pretty cool. A lot of beaches along here. It's very nice. We are anchored up. We are ready to go exploring. We're gonna go over and I think walk over to the glass window bridge. Check that out. We've just landed the dinghy and we're following this little pathway here and go up to the road and then walk over to the bridge. Detour, check out the Queen's bath over on the other side of the island. See how rough it is out there. Whoa! Wow! That is nuts! over on this other side. I'm gonna walk over there, check it out. So I think this is the queen's bath right in here. It's pretty protected. I know, it's done. All the power. I don't even know where to focus. It's all so cool. All right, coming over to this side. There's like a cave in here. Beautiful. We feel really lucky to be able to do what we're doing, sail to different islands and seeing the beauty of this world. Thank you for coming along with us. Crazy. All the way to the Queen's Bath. That is just nuts. Wow. Oh. The ocean is angry. <laughs> that was a nice little side bonus. Didn't know that that was here at all. But now onto the bridge. On the walk up to the bridge, we're going uphill currently. Not used to all this walking, but it's good exercise. Kind of sketchy coming around this corner here. It's a blind corner. I'm here as a human highlighter, so everyone sees us. Jeff has found a blowhole over here. It's like a little one with some like, just a little bit of spray. There it is, wow. 
That's pretty cool. Oh! <laughs> Our anchorage is behind here. There's our buddy boat's boat, and we are behind that bluff here. Almost to the glass window bridge. Uh-oh, single file traffic only. All right, let's be careful here, guys. Such a beautiful evening. The weather is great. A little bit extra hot on the skin, but that's okay. There's a nice breeze. Just gotta be careful of these random pipes we're walking over here. <laughs> but we are almost at the bridge where apparently there's gonna be a pretty sweet view of all of the surf surging between the land masses here. We've made it over to the bridge area. Some crazy people up here wouldn't catch us doing that. <laughs> We had a great evening exploring the Glass Window Bridge Anchorage and all that it has to offer. The Queen's Bath and the power of the waves over there, coupled with being assaulted by the blowhole, this place has a lot to offer. As the sun started to set, it was time to head back to Joko and end our stay here. Tomorrow, we pull up anchor again and continue south to... You'll just have to wait for the next episode to find out. Thanks for watching.